Welcome to the poor back streets of the Pauper Gauntlet where the hobos try to find something to eat. This is Hobo Omelette, JPH Snake's iteration of eggs in Pauper. Um, let's see what we can do. We are keeping this, we don't have a sideboard plan. Let's make the best of it. I am uploading a video, that's why things are really slow. Uh, then, star. It looks like affinity, but it is very much centered around the eggs. Oh, interesting. Soul Sister? No, it's the token Celestia thing. So, Tog or Disciple? Tog won't be able to do a whole lot. I think we need to play the Disciple and the Swear. That's what I think. Okay. Uh, furnace. Play the um, disciple. Oh, the lag. Here is the disciple. And play Terrarium. Yield to that. Do we want to trade there? I think we don't want him to get too many lives. So I think I'm trading it. It will be more creatures played than uh, artifacts destroyed, for sure. Thought cast for one. Tog. Glass Dust Hulk. For once meant to be played. And not just thrown away. So, and I think we'll be able to play him. Uh, Terrarian has the same feature as Star. You can eat it. And uh, gain the card anyway. So maybe we just eat a ton of stuff. Star drawing into more lands. Terrarion. I can't eat the swear. We could cast the swear, right? Use it that way. Getting the card for it. Oh, a Trinket Mage. Play the Terrarium. So now I could just eat all of these four things, doing nine damage and getting four cards. And I think I need four cards here to get something going. However, taking the damage, oh, it's just two.
Så lätt sig mål. Två kard. Ut. Det står. Sack för star. Två kard. Sacrifice Terrarian. And the Terrarian. And we're done. Eat all the nice little eggs. So what are we trinket matching for? We have zero removal. Except swirling sandstorm. Which sounds pretty good. We have two of those. He did not attack. So, uh, salt cast. Ethereum sculptor seems very important. So Ethereum Sculptor, then I can play these things for free. There is the Sandstorm. Play. Okay. I'm mean, just now casting Sandstorm. We'll do five damage. We have to eat two artifacts. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. So let's wait a turn. Until he can put some things. He has a shortage of mana. Hmm. Maybe I can just overwhelm him. He has a short term mana, he's sitting back. My tog. I should attack with the tog, right? And block with the sculptor. Eating the terrarium. Do I want to kill his team? No, I'm sitting back. I'm making the tog survive next turn by eating the sculptor and the terrarium, and then I'm sandstorming. Yes, that's the plan. That is my plan, but now he's not doing anything suddenly. So where did he go? He has lost his connection. This does not look good at all. And it's a shame because this this looks like fun. 
This means that Hobo Omelette moves on to the third round of the Pobo Gauntlet, but I will try to play it again in round two. I was playing against Midnight Presence. It's hard for a Swede to spell the Presence. Presence. So how many decks have really lost here in the gauntlet? I lost the 3 of the first 23. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I did think I would lose in 30% of the matches and that would be 24 so only two more losses that also means that probably nine decks will be eliminated during the first two rounds but Hobo Omelette will not be one of those decks because it is right now winning Fan of history wins the match and Hobo Omelette moves to round 3 of the Pobo Gauntlet. That you'll see it again in round 2. Thank you for watching.